Hey, hi there, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly Psychic Tarot and Oracle card reading. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. This is a general reading. Remember to check your rising and moon and Venus signs for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. And there is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with these kind of readings. I just checked out the link yesterday to make sure it was good. I checked my my chart again, and they've updated it. It's really good information. Now, I just like to thank you guys for supporting my channel, the likes, the subscribes. I'm truly grateful. Thank you. Now, today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle, one Divine Feather message, and a quote from a famous person. And now, here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Gemini, you've got the Eight of Cups, water energy. This is Saturn in Pisces. Now, this is leaving a situation that you found emotionally unfulfilling. You're going on to find your wish fulfillment. There may be some obstacles ahead, but that doesn't matter to you. You're going to go with the flow. Now this is someone that turned their back on those eight, eight neatly stacked cups, and they're heading towards higher ground. You can see there was some care in which he collected and placed those cups, and it shows previous concern. But now they're being abandoned, totally. And you can see the moon is in both its full and waning quarters, and it looks on and it signifies the end of something and the beginning of something new. It indicates leaving the past behind, and even though the cups may be full, they are no longer satisfying, because something is missing. This is the ability to leave something behind in order to go on to new concerns. The cups have not fallen, so there's no disaster. You just know it's time to move on. This is a shift in someone's life from being involved with doing things with others. Now you may need some quiet and a chance to be alone. This can be following your path and following your dream. This is someone that may be close to losing all hope in a romance, and they may walk away from it. It can also mean there's an affectionate person surrounding you. This is an emotional turning point. It's going with the flow. And following the flow of energy not only takes the least effort, but it also achieves the best results. And you know what you want, and you won't settle for less. Maybe this is an emotional situation that drained you, and it blocked your flow. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Gemini, the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This Knight is in movement towards something, but it's slow and steady. It's not fast. It takes time and dedication. This is someone that could be bringing good news. Knights are on a mission. They could be doing their duty. They're defenders. They're communicators. It can also represent the coming or going of a matter. They could be bringing good news about money. It's being poised on the edge of adventure or travel and moving with the flow. This is stability and dedication. It's being responsible and predictable and determined, laborious and patient. This is someone that does their job. They're solidly dependable. They're the worker bee, the good soldier, the farmer who works tirelessly in their fields. And they put their knives to the grindstone and they get things done. In this position of an obstacle, this could be a challenge. It could be bringing in some tension with an opportunity that he may be bringing. Maybe it's because it's too slow. This is someone that is unhurried, and they're practical and productive, and they're purposeful. They're stubborn, and they're cautious, and they are self-sacrificing, and they may be fulfilling obligations. 
or being of service to someone. This is working towards a goal, and it's tending to practical matters. Pa practical matters that need doing. This has to do with tangible results. The Eight of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles is a movement forward. It could even be moving. And now there's no looking back. It's moving towards a better financial situation. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Gemini. Here's some of your energy. The Page of Swords. Air Energy. Aquarius. Gemini. Libra. No, this is someone that is vigilant. It has to do with change that is coming. You can see that the wind is blowing his hair. This can be a young person or someone that is bringing news or they may be investigating. They gather information. They have a curious mind and they have new ideas. They're clever and they're quick-witted. This is someone that has a very strong will this can be nervousness and anxiety, spying, even news of difficulties. Someone needs to use strategy and analyze. That is what is needed to confront others. Or it could even be someone behaving in a risky manner. They would be immature. This is the overconfidence or ignorance of youth that can cause strife. This is someone that can be cold and calculating, and they have an extremely strong will. This is the lurker of the deck. This could be a spy, someone watching on the internet. They are thoughtful and curious and intellectual. They could be sharing ideas, and it does bring forward movement. They could be sharing opinions, lots of them. This is someone that treats, seeks truth and justice above all else, and they'll take risk in order to get to close to the truth. It can be a risky communication, or news that alerts you to the truth, or someone could be manipulating communication and twisting their tail. The Eight of Cups with the Page of Swords represents an immature communication over a separation, or it's wanting to separate from uh, emotional unfulfillment. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome the results, and the advice. Gemini, you've got number 15 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Devil. This can represent a Capricorn. Capricorn could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. That's what that little link down below on the very bottom of the description box helps us out with. When we know what's in everyone's chart, because we're not just our sun sign, it helps us out to know what to anticipate. Now the devil here represents some kind of limitation and bondage. It could be toxic. This could be chained by wrong choices, and that would bring discontent and depression and even illness. This can be a wrong use of force. It's bondage to the material. It's a sensation that's divorced from understanding. There could be a lot of attachments and having to face your demons. This can be a challenge of repression and of illusions. This can be an oppressive situation that's controlling. It could be controlling a, a person or a situation. It brings illusions of helplessness. This can oftentimes represent a sexual relationship that has become obsessive and destructive. It can refer to a person with power over another or even overdoing something too much. This is a tempting thing. It feels good. You like it. This can be a pleasure-seeking couple. But there's restrictions and fear and shadow. It can be lust and addictions and anger. Someone playing emotional games. Someone may be ashamed or jealous or codependent. Someone could even be ill-intended or deceitful or self-destructive. This can be shackled by ignorance or chained to the need for approval or even feeling the need to control others. This could be someone enslaved by addiction or serving what enslaves you. This is someone that needs to place boundaries against users and takers. You could be experiencing restrictions or acting in ways that impede your growth, struggling with or denying addictions or depression, 
It could be projecting faults onto others or having them projected onto you. It's abusing others or being abused. You may need to accept the restrictions of the current situation. This is a negative relationship with deep denial. This devil is the trickster and it's detrimental. It could be material things keeping you chained. You might need to find out what is limiting your personal growth, especially as if it's abusive, obsessive, or harmful relationships. This could be someone around you that thrives on instability and drama. They're full of empty or false promises, and they never take the blame, and they always blame the victim. The Eight of Cups with the Devil is walking away from addiction or obsession or a harmful relationship. It could be struggling to move out of an unhealthy relationship. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Gemini. Number 11 of the Major Arcana, Justice. This can be a Libra that you're dealing with. Libra could be in your chart or something else, or someone else's. This can have to do with the justice system and legal matters. This is a karma card. It has to do with fairness and ethics and law. Your someone's soul path. This has to do with the desire for education and its striving for truth and balance, equity and rightness, and triumph of the deserving side in law. Divine justice cuts through illusions and picks out the facts. This is an examination of life, our life, and more immediately of the situation around us. It calls for us to weigh everything carefully and to accept responsibility for what we have done and to understand what other people in the situation have done. The scales also balance past and future, and the upright sword symbolizes the keen mind that's able to cut through those illusions and then picks out the facts. So it tells us to analyze the situation and differentiate between one thing or another. This is balancing intuition with logic. It may have to do with a life-altering decision. It's karmic. This is an instinctive honesty that lies behind rational examination. It's well-ordered thoughts and fair-minded treatment. It's acting with integrity and accepting responsibility for our choices. It's striving for balance. It's rectifying a situation. It's keeping promises and telling the truth. And it's trusting divine order and dealing with legal issues. It's remembering that actions always carry consequences. This could have to do with legal matters. And if that is part of the circumstances, then it will proceed, proceed smoothly, fairly, and in a dispassionate manner. The Eight of Cups with the Justice card is going towards justice. It's some things that may be unknown, or maybe it's unknown how to trust your instincts. It's choosing to leave because someone feels they just need something different. This can be a heavy career change. And your results will be directly proportional to the effort and the intelligence that you put in. Now, the Knight of Pentacles with the Page of Swords is steadily moving forward with a new idea or a communication. The Knight of Pentacles with the Devil card is someone that's very ambitious. They can be a workaholic. It's materialism and playfulness. This can be someone addicted or obsessed over work or responsibility. The Knight of Pentacles with the Justice card is, this is good combination for government, litigation, or insurance settlement. It would be a great improvement. The Page of Swords with the Devil card can represent stalking, spying, controlling communication, or even controlling hurtful gossip or even a possible scandal. The Page of Swords with a Justice card is an immature understanding about what is going on. This is a person that may unknowingly hinder things because they speak before thinking and they jump to conclusions too quickly. They still have a lot to learn about balance that is needed. 
The devil with the justice card can represent a crime or a criminal law or a lawyer or some kind of corruption. This can represent someone with a strong voice or a voice problem. This can be right and a wrong. It's a karmic bond and a very dependable person. Here's your Wisdom of the Oracle card from Colette Baron reed You've got card number 41, Gemini, and that's Soulmates. Card number 41, Soulmates. Harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, a relationship fostering personal growth. You are meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. Certain people enter into your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It is always a reciprocal experience, although the results for each of you will vary. You know these people by the strong pull, drawing you towards them, and sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially, too. Soulmates can be friends for life, or remain in your life for a very short time. No matter what, you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people today. They are your greatest gifts. Here's your relationship message. Consider love in the deepest sense, love so powerful that you will never be the same, regardless of how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will finally claim who you were meant to be. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention, for you are in the presence of a soulmate, come to guide you home to the real you. Prosperity Message Strategic alliances are most important right now as you begin to attract the perfect people that support your dreams. This is a journey that you will share with others, mentors, business partners, helpers, employees, creative partners, friends, and strangers open doors for you to step through a portal to join you in a harmonic dance of collaboration, commitment, and co-creation. This is what you've been waiting for, Gemini. Oh, that's really exciting. Here's your Divine Feather message by Allison DiNicola, and this is the feather of the ostrich, I believe. Yes, it is. That is an ostrich feather, and the choice is clear for you now. Follow the wisdom and the truth you feel in your heart. The choice is clear for you now. Follow the wisdom and the truth that you feel in your heart, Gemini. And now here's your uh, um, your. This is a quote from a famous person. There is only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve, the fear of failure. Paulo Koholo. There is only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve, the fear of failure. Thanks, you guys, Gemini. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember... What goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. I hope you can feel it. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.